Hi everyone, this is Ada from NPPA Learning TV. This video is focused on easy steps to mastering ACE inhibitors. This video is a basic overview of ACE inhibitors and not an all extensive review. Examples of ACE inhibitors include drugs with suffix ending in pearl. A little bit of a disclaimer, it is important to review your textbooks and evidence-based articles for more robust knowledge. This is just a mini review or a minute review of ACE inhibitors. Before I proceed, I will talk a little bit about the RAS system. RAS system is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. It works like a thermostat. Thus, it upregulates blood pressure when sensors detecting low blood volume in the body prompts it. This is how the RAS system is initiated. Angiotensinogen from the liver is converted to angiotensin 1 by renin from the kidney. ACE inhibitor from the lungs converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 interacts with an angiotensin receptor and causes Direct, direct constriction of resistant vessels and stimulates the release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. This leads to tubular reabsorption of sodium, potassium excretion, water retention, and increase in just the glomerular perfusion. Furthermore, ACE enzyme prevents the release of bradykinin. Bradykinin is a substrate of ACE. Now I'm going to go a little bit more into how ACE inhibitors counteract the RAS system. First, ACE inhibitors inhibit the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. The inhibition of angiotensin 2 uh, lowers the blood pressure and enhances nitrouresis. It is very important for you to review the schematics to have a further understanding of how the RAS system works and the impact of ACE inhibitor on the system. The following diagram gives a granular description of the effects of ACE inhibitor on vasoconstriction. Indication for ACE inhibitor include the following. Hypertension, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, postmyocardial infarction, left ventricular dysfunction, diabetes, nephrotic syndrome, CKD, and unilateral renal art artery stenosis. This is also not an all-conclusive list. Side effects of ACE inhibitors include the following. Dry cough, headaches, fatigue, dizziness, metallic taste, drowsiness, sexual dysfunction, rash, and GI disturbances. Dry cough is mediated by increase in bradykinin levels in the lungs. This is because ACE inhibitors attenuates ACE enzyme. Bradykinin is known as a substrate of ACE enzyme. Adverse reactions include the following. Angioedema, hyperkalemia, elevated BUN and creatinine, particularly Two-fold increase following initiation of ACE inhibitor, although increase may be transient, and syncope. Contraindications with ACE inhibitors. Do not use with ARNI, ARBs, or any renin derivative. Pregnancy and lactation bilateral renal stenosis, low GFR, hereditary angioedema, anaphylaxis, 
Do not use captopril in patients with sulfur allergy because it contains sulfur hydryl, which might cause cross-reactivity. Use with caution in geriatric patients and patients with aortic stenosis. Therapeutic monitoring parameters with ACE inhibitors include the following. Creatinine levels at onset of therapy, GFR, potassium levels, sodium level. Monitor closely with hypokalemic agent, agents such as NSAIDs, diuretics, beta blockers. Mix reviews with use in advanced CKD, clinical judgment, and specialist collaboration should always take precedence. Quiz. Which medications are classified under ACE inhibitors? A. Lisinopril. B. Ramipril. C. Captopril. D. Benazepril. E. Enalapril. F. All of the above. And the answer is all of the above. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.